Hey, we're Emily and Danny, and we've been traveling by van from Alaska all the way down here to Chile for four years with our cat Graham and our dog Sombrita. And this week we are joined by my mom in Chile. Our first stop is skiing. It's summer in the US, but down here it's winter. And it's time to hit Valle Nevado Ski Resort, just a couple hours east of Santiago into the mountains. So I just dropped Danny off at the airport. He's heading over to the US because his grandma isn't doing so well. So today will just be me and my mom. We're going to head over to the Banksy exhibit and the GAM here in Santiago. I'm super excited for this. Our friends just did it a couple weeks ago and they said it was amazing. After being in Santiago for so long, I'm super itching to get out of here and explore the area a little bit more. So me and my mom are going to head down south to Santa Cruz where there are a couple of wineries we're gonna check out.
on the or maybe in a screen also we are going to have a new brand it's going to be like this but flexible and green we are going to take that brand and we are going to bury it in the ground for 30 centimeters in less than a year we are going to have roots in this new oh. brand but it's going to be connected for three years to the mother plant. So what did you think about the winery? Oh, so beautiful. It yeah. was so interesting to learn about the wine and the vineyard and how they grow the vines, how they grow each different grape, the ages of the grapes. It was really, really interesting. I just, I can't believe how much wine is exported from Chile. 90% of the wine is exported. Yeah, insane. I really, really love this Cabernet Sauvignon. And she said that the Cabernet Sauvignon is the most popular wine that Mm. anywhere right so I, I didn't realize that I, I really don't know that much about wine and a special guest appearance from the great sombrita So we got to check out two really nice wineries, Vion Manen. We went on the tour and it was a really beautiful afternoon. Perfect day to get out and wander around the vineyard. The tour was $35 including the tasting, so I think it was a pretty good deal. And these wines are pretty expensive. We hit it just right doing the tour and getting to try the really nice stuff. And I was just chatting with Danny, it sounded like he had an awesome day at Bandelier National Park today, so let's check out what he was doing. Today, Chileans are voting on keeping their old constitution or putting in a new one. We've seen people on both sides trying to inform people to vote. The people we stumbled upon this day did not want a new constitution. Look who made it back to Chile! The mobility pass is a validation of our vaccines. And they'll give you a QR code so that people that are working in the restaurant, stuff like that, can just scan the QR code and see who you are and say, okay, you're vaccinated. To get into restaurants, museums, stuff like that. And we tried to get it months ago. They denied us because we got vaccinated in Panama. We're going to go to the offices to explain our situation that the government constantly denied us. <laughs> Celebration meal! Mm, that's good. Hey guys, just want to drop a little van tip on y'all. These heaters are awesome in the winter to turn your van into a home. But we didn't know initially these gasoline powers and diesel powered heaters have an issue with high elevation. And you know, it depends how you go, but we've been up to 16,000 feet now and our heater hasn't worked for a while. It's not very easy to find this out online. I really scoured deep forums to, to learn this. If you're Wabasto or your Espar heater, so this is an issue that can occur at elevation because there's less oxygen in the air. So you have the same amount of gas going into your heater with less oxygen coming in. So it combusts and it leaves a black uh, soot on the burner which is called carbon buildup. So honestly, if you try to find out how to fix this problem, almost everybody's gonna say, take it apart. That means for us, we'd have to take out our passenger seat, go underneath, take off this heat shield. Oh, do so many steps to, to open this thing up. 
And of course, many mechanics would gladly do that for you and charge you quite a lot. But this is a simple, easy fix, zero dollar fix. So here we go. I'll show you how to fix one of these gasoline powered heaters in your van. The first thing you have to find a gas station with an air compressor that allows you just to shoot air out. A lot of them fit on your tire before they start shooting out. Usually you can find the one that has a little pistol grip where you can kind of pull a trigger and spray air in the US. Here in Chile, we found this one, which uh, has just a special button for if your tire is completely flat and it started shooting out air. Then you wanna get out a tarp and make it so you can find the intake point of your Wabasta. Once you get the air compressor going, you just shoot compressed air into the intake as you're gonna turn on your Wabasta at the same time. So as the Wabasta is starting up, it's getting a little better airflow. You'll probably notice on the exhaust side, you'll see a shoot, it shoot out some black carbon when you start doing this. And so yeah, just keep shooting compressed air in the intake while the Wabasto is on and it should turn right on. I think you'll probably want to run it about an hour and maybe shoot some more compressed air in the intake a couple more times just to be sure. So there you have it, a pretty easy dirty fix for a problem that can be super, super annoying and could be a very costly repair if you're talking about opening up that Wabasto and finding where the combustion takes place, cleaning that off. Yeah, that's a hassle. So all you gotta do is get under there, shoot compressed air in the intake while you turn it on. So now that we have the van and the heater all fixed up, we're going to take you guys up to the mountains. So if you like this video, please share and subscribe. And if you would like to help us out a little bit more, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you guys next time.